Apple is not happy. What's up guys, so it's been a while since we covered iPhone news and to be honest, nothing exciting has been going on. This might just be the most boring iPhone release ever. I mean, we have some much needed upgrades such as a 120Hz display, biggest battery upgrade ever, but still nothing come close to what we'll see next year. Some top secret stuff is planned for the next year's iPhone release, but first let's talk about why Apple is so pissed. We have seen so many spot on leaks, reliable stuff coming before events. This has made Apple very angry and they're actually going after some of these reliable sources. According to the news, Kang, who's one of the most reliable Apple leakster, him and among other leaksters were approached by Apple's lawyers who warned them about leaking stuff regarding Apple's future products. Even my friend concept creator got approached and he's not even a leaker, he's just a concept maker. This all shows that Apple is definitely not happy and they're willing to make some legal moves if needed. Will this stop the leaks? I mean, we'll see about that in the future. Right now, business is as usual. We have a lot of stuff to talk about regarding the next year iPhone 14 lineup. Now, for those who own the iPhone 12 series or even the iPhone 11 lineup and they're waiting for an absolute mega upgrade, then you're gonna love the top secret stuff that Apple is planning for the 2022 iPhones. According to a well-known, possibly the most famous Apple analyst on the planet, Ming Shi Ko, the 2022 iPhone lineup might be the first flagship iPhones to come with an underscreen touch ID. As we have seen recently that smartphones are getting much larger fingerprint scanning capabilities, even multi-finger registration. Seeing this new tech, this may be the best time for Apple to have underscreen touch ID for their future iPhones. And best of all, this might get rid of the notch design, which has been going on for about four years. And once again, Cool says that Apple's biggest camera upgrade is expected to happen next year if 48 megapixel sensor with the biggest pixel size that Apple has ever used. This sensor will also make 8K video recording possible for the first time on iPhones and not in a gimmick way. We'll see some actual real video gains. As for this year's iPhone 13 slash iPhone 12s lineup, whatever the name will be, the only real upgrade that is expected is with the ultra wide angle lens. It's set to get the autofocus capability and possibly the f1.8 aperture for better low light performance. All iPhone 13 models are expected to get sensor shift stabilization, which is something that Apple introduced on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. As for the 3D LiDAR scanner, it's once again expected to be only exclusive to the Pro models. Now this year, the iPhone 13 mini will be the last mini flagship, perhaps the last strongest flagship of its kind ever. Apple tried it, they didn't get the result they wanted, so in 2022, according to Ming-Chi Ko, the mini iPhone will be replaced by the iPhone 14 Max. Not a Pro Max, it's just a Max iPhone with a 6.7 inch display. Rest of the lineup remains the same, so we'll see two 6.7 inch models and two 6.1 inch models. And lastly, next year, Apple could bring the cheapest iPhone ever with 5G capability. This iPhone has the potential to become the best selling model of next year. We're talking about the successor to the iPhone SE. It will cost around $500 range with the latest flagship chip and improved cameras, all that good stuff. Apple has already seen massive success with both iPhone SE releases, so I expect Apple to nail the game once again. So yeah, 2022 is clearly a lot more exciting than this year's iPhone release. The notch is still here to stay for this year's model. It's gonna be slightly smaller, but still, a notch is a notch. We have a 120Hz refresh rate display coming, so that's a good upgrade. Biggest battery gains as well, 18% bigger battery for the Pro Max, 10% for both 6.1-ish models, and 8% bigger battery for the mini. And combined with the Apple A15 chip with the five nanometer plus architecture, this might bring the best battery performance on a 120 Hertz flash of smartphones. I truly think that Apple can attain this. We'll see how it'll perform against the competition, especially the S21 Ultra. So that's all the latest news. Let me know what you think about all of this. Apple is definitely not happy with all the leaks, but we'll see if that actually stops anything or not. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.